we're on uh, page 54 topic 11 and from this uh, uh, page we're going to do uh, 1D, 1E, 2G, uh, 2J and the last problem we're going to do is um, 3D right here. So start off with uh, 1D. Here uh, we're asked for uh, the uh, polynomial, give its degree and name if applicable. So this has four terms. So sometimes this is called a quadrinomial. Um, the answer given in the manual is polynomial because probably most people won't know this name, but uh, because there's one, two, three, four terms. So polynomial is just a generic term for anything bigger than uh, three terms. Um, the degree is three because the end term here is uh, three. Here we have simply two terms and because there's only two terms um, it's a binomial and the degree because the number here is uh, 2. So we'll call this, uh, this is degree 2 because the power of x is raised to 2. Now add or subtract as indicated and so we're going to um, remove the brackets from these first three terms in which case we get this we get 7x to the power 4 plus 3x squared plus 2x which is exactly what's here there's an implied minus 1 here as we've discussed previously in previous problems so minus 1 times 18x to the fourth gives us minus 18x to the fourth minus 1 times minus 5x squared gives us plus 5x squared and minus 1 here outside the bracket plus x gives us minus x. So there's a, a correction here. Should make this minus x. So let's go over this again we've got a minus 1 implied here outside the bracket we don't put it in and we say minus 1 times 18x to the fourth gives us minus 18x to the fourth minus 1 times minus 5x squared gives us plus 5x squared and minus 1 times plus x gives us minus x so now we have 1 2 3 4 five, six terms, and we've grouped them in terms of descending powers of x. So we've grouped the 7x to the fourth here and the minus 18x to the fourth because we're going to combine these, and that's going to give us minus 11x to the fourth. Now the next highest term is x squared. We've got plus 3x squared, and we've got plus 5x squared, so that gives us plus 8x squared. So 3 and 5x squared, we can only con ter combine terms which have the same power. Here this has the power 4, this has the power 4. We combine it to give us 11x to the 4th. We combine the 3x squared and the plus 5x squared, gives us 8x squared. And now we have plus 2x minus x, which gives us plus x. Now, again, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to remove the brackets from the first term right here. So we're going to remove the brackets here. We'll just leave it the way that it is. And again, we've got a minus 1 here. So we're going to say minus 1 times 3x squared gives us minus 3x squared. Minus 1 times plus 2x gives us minus 2x and minus 1 times minus 2 gives us plus 2. Here, because of the plus term, we just remove the black 
brackets and we get x squared plus x plus 3, the signs stay the same. So we've got nine terms in all. Now you'll see we have the 2x squared, the minus 3x squared, and the plus x squared, which we've grouped together. 2x squared minus 3x squared plus x squared. Now we have a plus x term, a minus 2x term plus x, minus 2x right over here, and a plus x here. So we've grouped these three terms together. We've grouped the 3x squared terms together. We've grouped the 3x terms together. And we've got minus 5, which is right here. The plus 2 right here. And the plus 3. And it's just coincidence that all these terms, the x squared term sums to 0. 2 minus 3x squared gives us minus x squared. Plus x squared gives us 0. Nothing left as far as these three terms. x minus 2x is minus x. Plus x is 0. So these three sum to 0. And minus 5 plus 2 plus 3 sum to 0. So every term sums uh, to 0. Multiply and uh, simplify. So we're just using the distributive rule 4x squared times x. This is x to the power 1. We add the 2 and 1. We get 4x cubed. 4x squared uh, times minus 7x. Again, using the distributive rule gives us minus 28x squared. So that completes uh, our examples uh, for uh, page.